Hi, beautiful. Um, so you guys are always commenting, Brad, are you okay? Brad, is everything good? You've been a little off. And it seems like no matter what I do, what I say, I'm always seeming off to some of you, okay? And maybe that is because I'm a little, yeah, I'm, well, I'm never not okay, but I'm never okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me, let me get into some light here. <sighs> Ooh. I am good, okay? I have a great life. I have friends that love me, I have family. I have this puppy that I am obsessed with, a great job. I make good money. So like, what is there really to complain about, you know? The stress is usually because I overwork myself. <laughs> yeah, I do. But because I've overworked myself for so long, I've come up with a lot of ways to like de-stress myself, right? People that overwork themselves, they need a vice. Is that what you call it, a vice? They need to know how to decompress after they compress. So I'm gonna take you guys along a journey today of decompression. I think I have some good ways of decompressing. It's nothing groundbreaking, but they're good. And I also just wanna talk today to somebody. So you're gonna be my friend. I do have friends, but today I don't have anybody here to talk to. Sometimes, it's nicer talking to an inanimate object, I will say. So, you are that inanimate object, but you're actually real because you're on the other side. You know what I mean. I want to just like vent, talk about what's going on in my life. What are the things that are stressing me out? Maybe talk about my dating life a little bit. Ooh, ooh. Not that anybody cares, but... <laughs> and yeah, I just want to like... What if I just filmed all my videos like this? I just want to take this night to feel good. I want to feel relaxed and gorgeous. And like, chill with you. Okay, so I definitely bought myself something. Hold on. I told you I wasn't feeling good, so I had to go shopping. I don't always buy myself stuff when I'm feeling stressed, but like sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm just like, Brad, you work your ass off. Go and spend something. If you're making money, why aren't you spending it? Type of moment, you know? Because like life is short. So if you have the means to go shopping and you feel like sh I say why not? So let's see what I got. Actually, this is very unrelatable, but I have my assistant go to the Prada store and get these for me. I know, whatever. I never claim to be relatable, it's fine. So this is what I got. I've wanted them for so long and honestly right now, am I feeling happier? Yeah. Am I feeling less stressed? Yeah, because it like takes my mind off of the bullshit that's happening in my life, love, and puts it on this shoe. Thank you, shoe. Um, I'm kind of obsessed. I've wanted these for a while and I've been like, do I really want to look like a little lad? And the decision was yes, I do, obviously. Uh, they're cute as fuck and they're very practical and like really also kind of crazy looking at the same time. I'll put one on my foot. I actually hope that they fit. I hope that they fit because Prada sizes, they... They be f***ing with me sometimes. Ooh, they're so cute, especially with this outfit. <laughs> this outfit is really, really giving with this. Already, I'm feeling beautiful and happy. Okay. I know that wasn't practical. Prada shoes will look beautiful. I can't wait to wear them tomorrow. What do I wear them with? Oh, I have so many options. <laughs> I have a date tomorrow. Um, these would actually be perfect for that date. And that also brings me to something that is bullshit in my life, which is dating. Dating is fucking hard, you guys. <gasps> I feel like dating is actually <laughs> one of the most torturous activities ever. I also try to stay positive about it because like what else is there to do? And I also continue to manifest, which I'll get into later. Dating is tough, especially when you live in New York City and like everybody's so young and like just moved here. It's just really hard to find somebody who, who I actually like, who I actually want to like date long term. With that being said, I go on a lot of dates, a lot of bad ones, a lot of decent ones, and then like not a lot of great ones, but you know, we're manifesting. 
we're visualizing every day and I will get there. But you know, it's gonna take time for me to find somebody that I really, really, really like. But sometimes dating is uh, really mentally and physically exhausting, honestly. I think I just need to try not to take it so seriously, even though I'm a very com obsessive person. And when I like something, I like it a lot. When I do something, I wanna do it to the extreme. And so I think I just need to like chill a little bit and like not go on so many dates and like not mentally exhaust myself when it comes to dating. Um, I'm sure you can understand like dating apps are the worst, but then it's like, if you don't have it, what do you do? That's the spot I'm in right now. I think what I really need to do before I get any farther into this video is meditate. Um, meditation has been amazing in my life. Um, there's been times in my life where I've done it a lot more than I do now. The harder life gets, the more I meditate, really. Um, but I think it's a practice that everybody should know and everybody should utilize in their lives. I think it's so important when it comes to mental health. Just knowing how to meditate and knowing your own meditation practice is really important just to living a healthy, good life. And I have to like constantly remind myself, Brad, you need to take a second, you need to meditate, you need to chill out. So I'm gonna tell you what I like to do. It's not always like this where I'm like actually sitting cross-legged. Legged? That's disgusting. Cross-legged. I don't give a shit. it's legged, it's leg now. I often meditate in the shower. What meditation really does is you have to learn how to shut your mind off. You need to learn how to not let this thing that's coming in and this thing coming in and this thing coming in and this thing coming in. The TikTok you watched an hour ago just all seeping into your brain and the TV show that you watched earlier and the YouTube videos and the, the thing that your mom said or your dad said or your friend said that pissed you off. Like you can't let all those things get into your brain or else you're gonna explode, right? And I do this all the time. Oh, I am an overthinker times 10, but meditation has calmed that down a lot. <sighs> So whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed, I can feel my brain going too fast. I like to sit down, close my eyes, or do this in the shower, whatever you wanna do. Um, it's your own practice, it's your own thing. And I can do it for five minutes, 10 minutes. Usually that's like the maximum is like 10 minutes for me. I will just sit here and practice controlling my thoughts basically is what it is. Basically just not letting anything get into your brain, clearing it out so it's just darkness. When you do that practice constantly, you can actually bring that into your daily life. So you can actually meditate when your eyes aren't closed or when you're, eye, when you're not sitting like this. So it's definitely something I like to do when my life becomes a little bullshit or just on a daily. So let's meditate together. That felt great. So what I actually do when I'm meditating is I visualize myself as thoughts come in. I visualize myself like pushing them out, like guarding the safe space that is my mind. I'm such a little like yogi bitch. I love it. Lighting is so harsh. Ugh, what the f Part of taking care of this thing that gives me a lot of trouble, this thing that gives me a lot of f trouble, love you, um, is eating well, okay? So we're cooking some f gold pineapple unfried rice. There's a lot of veggies and shit in this. I'm also making myself an herbal tea so I can drain these fucking toxins out through my urine. Should be good. This food is so damn good. Um, this isn't sponsored. It's like all organic vegan food that's prepared for you like the night before and then delivered to you. And it's so good. And obviously we have to put some hot sauce on there. Cholula specifically. Okay, but I don't hot sauce discriminate. I think I'm always just trying to find like balance in my life. I don't know how to do that. I've always been like a workaholic. It's like, I'm obsessed with working. It's a thing that validates me in life. And I always have something to prove to people. I don't know why. Um, probably because I'm the youngest sibling and I'm like, you like I will be the best. That's a whole nother issue. I'll save that one for my therapist though. Obviously you guys know like in, an influencer's job is basically 
also what they do for fun. You know, it's very hard not to exploit yourself. Um, I'm even kind of doing it right now <laughs> where I'm like exploiting my free time by recording it and showing you what I do in my free time. But at the same time, it's what I really like doing. If I weren't exploiting the things that I like in a way, I wouldn't want to film it. It's kind of just like a thing I need to like figure out is how I can maintain this job that I've been doing for the last five years. Also not make myself feel like I have to always be on and always be working, even though that's something I really like doing. See how the, see how this issue is kind of just like, it's building, it's like, but I like it, but I don't like it, but I do, but it's what makes me happy, but then it makes me crazy, but then it, bleh. This brain is a lot. And that's why we meditate, okay? I don't want you to take that as like, I'm not happy. I want you to take it as like, I'm always trying to grow and understand how I can get more and more balance in my life. All right, I gotta bring you for a walk, huh? Yes, I do. I gotta bring you for a walk. This city is so beautiful. It definitely does add to the overwhelmedness and stress of my life. Very fast paced. Do I have food in my teeth? Nah, but these look white as fuck on camera. What? Listen. <laughs> It's very overwhelming. You do obviously get used to it, but I will say like, whenever there are times that I leave the city, I definitely feel more relaxed, but I think that I've just become so accustomed to this lifestyle that it almost feels kind of relaxing here. But also, I mean, no matter how much I get used to it, listen to the, what's going on around me. Like just so many, so much, so, are you kidding? So much honking. Having a dog really does help with like my mental state because she obviously always needs to be walked and um, I like to go for really long walks on different paths and try not to use my phone at all during the walk, which doesn't always work. But you know, it really does help like clear my head and I practice meditate. Shut up. Shut up. I practice meditation as I walk too. And uh, it's pretty chill, you know? I'm gonna take a bath. It feels like the right thing to do right now. And I'm gonna put some dead sea salt in because it makes my skin feel so good. I want to be with my thoughts or without my thoughts actually. And I want to manifest. So let's do some manifesting in the bathtub. Okay, we're giving myself a gel manicure. I don't like to give myself gel, ma gel manicures, but I don't like getting them more. But I do like the feeling of having a gel manicure. So tomorrow when I wake up with a beautiful, gorgeous, fabulous set of nails, I'm going to feel great, which is why this is a part of my mental recovery regime. This always makes me feel just very put together. I think we're gonna go with like Black. I'm gonna put little stars in my nails too. Ooh, it's gonna be so cute. Oh, I just cut myself. My job is, you know, it's good, but <laughs> you know, obviously it is very stressful. I film a lot of hair videos on every platform in existence and I love hair. I don't wanna stop doing hair and I'll probably always do hair, but obviously it can get a little tiring. Today I was like, you know what? We're gonna do something different. I'm gonna chill with y'all. Obviously, when you do something day in and day out every single day of your life, it can get tired, especially for like an artistic person. Artists always want change, typically. Always want to push themselves. I mean, a lot of people want that, but like, especially people in the arts. It's hard for us to stay stagnant. Sometimes it feels like I'm staying stagnant by doing the same thing all the time. What's the best thing to do when you are feeling stagnant? Do something different. Do something that gets you out of your comfort zone. That's what I'm doing while also trying to maintain happiness. I don't know. Social media in general is like a hard thing to navigate. Everybody judges. Everything is very outward. There's nothing to hide. 
your success is very public as well and your failures are very public and that's something i struggle with sometimes it's just you know not wanting to ever fail and not wanting to, to be publicized but we all know that's not possible and a lot of people fuck up and uh i'm cutting my cuticles <laughs> and i'm not paying attention i don't know it's like what what is the future entail for Brad Mondo. Sometimes I'm like, what if I didn't always do hair? What if there was something else? I don't know, man. I think taking some time and like doing these different kinds of videos sort of helps me like uncover what other passions I have. Oh, hello, where are you going? Let's talk about manifestation, shall we? If it weren't for manifestation, I know I wouldn't have any of the that I have right now. Every day I go to bed, I like to visualize and feel what it's like to have the things that I want to have, whether that be a healthy relationship, more friends, a good family relationship, more money, business opportunities, anything like that. Like I actually visualize myself having it. And that's the important part about manifestation is actually like making yourself believe you already have it. It's not about wanting, it's about already having. Oh, hello. Where did I go? Uh -huh. So you gotta pretend you got that sh that you want, which is the hard part. If you can achieve that and let your imagination run wild, you get the things that you want in life. You know, there was a time this year that I wasn't really doing that and I started doing it again and that changed like so quickly. Like it's so cool that you can want things into existence. Girl, black nail polish, it's mad hard. I don't know if I got the patience for it. I'm going to try these little stubby ass nails. The hell is this? Yeah, I don't know. A big one of mine, obviously, like you guys heard me say earlier, I'm interested in having a new relationship. Oh, I got out of a long-term relationship kind of recently. It made me realize that I actually really value relationships. I like having somebody there for me. I like having somebody listen to my bullshit and I can listen to their bullshit. And we can be bull friends. We can be bull together, you know? It's a good time. This is difficult. I have to do like 16 layers of black polish to make this look good. I don't want to do it, but I am going to feel so good when it's done. And it's going to make me feel so cute and sexy. I finished my nails. Don't look too close. I definitely have a it a little bit but they have little stars on them little gold stars it's cute you know what i'll take it they'll look good once i shower one time right isn't that like how it works and i feel gorgeous Woo. Oh, i'm tired oh my god all that pampering meditation and bath time took a lot out of me that's the journey for today honey i mean and i gotta go do the most important thing of all which is sleep if i don't get enough of that bitch better watch out. I'm the worst tired person ever. Like I hate the feeling of being tired. Got to get my six to eight hours, um, preferably eight, but usually six. And uh, yeah, you can also check out my hair care, my hair color line linked right here. And you can also check us out at xmundohair.com. If you guys want to check out any other videos, do it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I don't know. This feels weird doing an outro in the vlog. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.